Gimbos are dead, says the GoPro team. Gimbos are not dead, there still are plenty of reasons why we would get a decent stabilizer when we want to shoot some really brilliant footage or when we want to do some motion time lapses or, you know, I can, I can talk about reasons for quite some time. Uh, right now I'm recording this with the GoPro Hero 7 with electronic image stabilization off but the footage is still quite stable because I'm using the iSteady Pro which at the moment is perhaps the best action camera gimbal that you can get at a price of around $70 offering fantastic features. For those of which, I'll tell you in the next few minutes, let's go! Maybe I should start the review with explaining what a gimbal is, because it um, could be that many of you don't know about this. A gimbal is essentially a stabilizer uh, which relies on motorized correction of the shooting angle, a compensation for uh, the shakiness of the person that is holding the camera, something that you have certainly noticed uh, very often from uh, vloggers and bloggers or people that just want to shoot a lot of actions and you suddenly realize wow this footage is just too shaky and when we want to avoid that we use gimbals uh, most of the gimbals at the moment are relatively affordable between 100 and 200 dollars of course those which are designed to support larger DSLRs they cost significantly more speaking of the Ronin by DJI which is a few hundred bucks and we have plenty of good gimbals already for action cameras and uh, their price varies between, let's say, $80-$90 up until $290 depending on the functions supported and the features. Well, this one has an entry-level price and pro-grade features. And in this video, I'm gonna test the gimbal together with a number of action cameras. Uh, one of those is the GoPro Hero 7 that I'm recording with right now. Uh, we're going to get some shooting with the GoPro Hero 6 and compare it with, without electronic image stabilization, essentially everything that you need to know when deciding what and why you should buy and I think that's quite a good contender. Let's start! will be fair and will say that ever since I have the Hero 6 I just don't feel the need of having a gimbal because its stabilization is damn good and now the Hero 7 Black is just strengthening my habit. But I was asked by Hoem to give my opinion about the iSteady Pro and so far I can't believe how much I started to like it. The philosophy of running this channel was to be searching for the most optimal balance between the price you pay and what you get in return. And what Hoem have achieved in that regard with the iSteady Pro is remarkable. So remarkable that I now often have the gimbal with me because it is very portable. In this video, build quality, functionality, the app, a do-it-yourself hack for quick release and then a summary of the good and the bad things with a lot of sample footage and of course the answer to the big question, are really gimbals dead? And is GoPro Hero 7 better off a gimbal? Starting with the hardware orientation, well, the device is impressively built. Last time I checked it costs around $75 and for the money you get excellent build quality. Saying that it is mostly plastic actually sounds disappointing, but this is among the best grades of plastic quality I've ever tested. And Hoem managed to give it a feeling of metal. If you don't closely inspect it, you may never make the difference. The mechanism is not close. We're talking about action cameras, so this thing is designed to keep the action cam tight no matter what. Falling out of this is practically impossible. Looking into this mechanism, there are of course some action cameras that may not fit or may not properly fit. GoPro Hero Session, for example, or this Calicam, 
or the Sony FDR X3000 and so on, but there's a small chance you'd have any of these anyways. If I have to choose something for personal use, this is among my top priorities and it's one of the things that got my attention. I hate when things are going in crazy directions in my backpack, something can accidentally power on, scratch, break. No one likes these things. I have cases for everything. Action cameras, drones, more drones, gimbals and a little carrying case for protection is the least you can do to keep it safe. There conveniently are two different ways and angles to mount it to a tripod. Let's move on to the functionality. It is all conveniently located on the front side. Easy to note is the joystick. It is a bit larger than the rest. The on and off button, the hotkey function buttons and the mode switch. Two front LEDs, the mode LED and the Bluetooth LED. Apparently operation is quite easy. On the right side there's the battery status indication and on the left side the charging ports. Two of them, one to charge from and one to charge to. Yeah, instead of carrying a power bank with you, you can carry the iSteady Pro. Battery's capacity is 4000 mAh and it is not replaceable. All the possible controls are easily accessible and now let's explore the different modes. Number 1. The default mode, also named as pan following, just follows you panning to the left or right. The rolling and tilting axes are locked. Double click the function button and now we go to mode 2, panning and tilting, that makes smooth transitions to two of the axes and the one that remains locked is the rolling. The third one, where you enter by three clicks and is confirmed by this tripod flash and it keeps all the dimensions locked. Useful when you know your object is in front of you and well centered and you can of course apply compensations via the joystick at any point of time. You may use the all follow mode pressing four times, it will follow your movements much smoother compared to a situation with no gimbal. Each of these modes are fine-tunable via the app. The smartphone app is unified and works with the most recent iSteady series, like the Gear, that is used for larger mirrorless or DSLR cameras. The application is good and the controls are so many that you may have to test a lot until you get the best settings for your own shooting habits. Now to the best part, which initially is easy to skip and miss, it has a time-lapse feature brilliant and nicely adjustable. Add the start position, the end position and just begin the action. There are duration choices between 30 seconds and several hours. I've tried the gimbal with a few different action cams. Here's one thing that they all have in common. Almost or entirely no motor sound. Often you can hear the gimbal sound as the motors usually vibrate and that vibration is carried over the body almost unnoticeable here. That makes the iSteady Pro an excellent choice for vlogging in any kind of conditions. It was a good opportunity to test this gimbal bike mount. I'm overall disappointed with the design, not of the gimbal, but the holder itself, because its design actually causes all these vibrations. So now I'll be searching for a new one, and if somebody can recommend, I'll be very happy to try. I promised you an easy do-it-yourself hack, and with that I'll begin summarizing the iSteady Pro. One of the things I don't like about it is the mount. I like better claw mechanisms, which of course imply the chance of your device dropping out, but I just need to have a quick release. Two easy ways. You may get an elastic strap, and I've picked this bright color just to make sure that you're going to see it well. Or you can use this multifunctional cable ties by Orico. I use them quite often and pretty much everywhere. Actually, the lack of QR is one of the two things I didn't like. The second one seems to be caused by the gimbal's dimensions. 
looks like sudden and more aggressive movements may still cause a bit of shakiness. The rest, we have good build quality, a cool app, all the necessary functions, also time-lapse, long-lasting battery with power bank functionality and an awesome carrying case and all that is packed within 70 bucks. Do I like it? Definitely yeah! How about you? Get in touch via the comments below the video, take good care of yourself, make a lot of good things and I'll see you soon, bye!